Hi everyone, this is Shane R. Monroe with Monroe World, and today we're going to be looking at cloud gaming for Xbox Game Pass, but this time we're going to be looking at it on an Android TV, which Microsoft has recently released a press uh, release that said they will not be supporting Android TV or Amazon Fire Stick or anything else that's not just straight up Android. And so, you know, uh, not wanting to shy down from the challenge, I decided to see if I could get Game Pass cloud gaming streaming working on my NVIDIA Shield TV. And so that's what we're doing right now. I'm not going to go through the setup. If there's enough demand, leave me a comment. If you can't figure out how to get it set up yourself, or you're just wondering what I did to get set up, leave me a comment and I'll do a how-to tutorial. But I'm going to skip all that. I'm just going to show you the meat of how it works. Currently, we are using the... Um, the uh, Xbox One controller for Windows 10. This is the one that has Bluetooth built into it, and I'll put a link on how to get your own one of these if you don't happen to have one in the description down below. All right, so without further ado, one thing you do have to have is some way of launching non-Android TV apps. So I use Explorer for just about everything. It has an app manager in here, and I can launch the side-loaded Game Pass beta right from here. I've already done all the setup, I've done all the logging in, the two-factor authentication, I've done everything already. Uh, you will probably need a keyboard and a mouse to make this all nice and easy, but that's real easy to plug into one of your USB ports. So here you have it, this is it. This is Game Pass running right on the Android TV. And uh, I did a sort of an overview of the uh, cloud gaming as a system. I did that in an earlier video, so I'm not going to go over where all the bones are buried. All I want to do is just show you how this works, that it does work, prove to you that it works without having to do anything crazy, and show you how the performance is. Now, my Shield TV is wired, so this is Ethernet power, baby, which is how you should always do anything streaming anyway. So let's just jump into Mortal Kombat X. Um, I'll just run through a quick match. This is not going to be a long video. This is a, it works, here's your proof. Now, of course, while we're waiting for the game to get ready, uh, this app will not automatically update on its own. So uh, one of the care and feeding things you'll have to do is, if you want to run this on Android TV, is you will have to be constantly dumping the new APK from your phone, which is where I got mine, and then putting it on here yourself. Okay, so let's see if we actually get started. Nope. This seems to happen a lot in, in this beta period. Is uh, It looks like it's going to start. You sit here and wait, and then it dies on the line. So let's see what we got here. Hopefully it'll work this time. And you saw this in the other video, too. This is nothing Shield TV related. This is Android, or this is um, Microsoft beta related. So yeah, this plays really good. I mean, I was playing this last night, and um, while there's... Anything wireless, is, streaming wireless is just, I just don't, I'm not a fan. If you've watched my other videos, you know I'm not a huge fan. But wired on a powerful Android TV device like the Shield TV, kind of a no-brainer. Well, what's the word here, boys? Hmm. I'm getting nothing. Hello. Hmm. That is interesting. I'm getting like no input from the keyboard, so something, or from the controller, so something's awry. Let me dart in here with the, uh, yeah, see it hung. So this is why you might need a mouse, is to be able to get to some of these things. So it looks like we just had a different type of um, issue on that. Let's run it again. I assure you this works. I was playing Crackdown 3 uh, last night a little bit. I posted that on Twitter. So It's good for you guys to see uh, failures. Um, I enjoy watching these types of videos, which is why I make them. But a lot of times they cut out things that aren't perfect, right? So some reviewers will take a, a, a product like this and they'll just show you the happy path, right? They'll show you everything works right out of the box and it's beautiful and it's gorgeous. And they're not going to show you the downsides or these failures to start type thing and I think that there's I think that there's value in, in showing this sort of thing you're just not going to have any love this morning are we? there we go good all right what just happened there oh there we go all 
I don't know why my controller is doing weird things now. So weird. This was working great last night. Let's do this. Let's go ahead and exit out. We're going to go back in again. I did notice from time to time if the controller wasn't turned on, and I had this happen on the um, the cloud beta too. Uh, for um, oh, there we go. So it is running. All right. Let's try this again. Obviously not without its glitches, right? Let me turn the audio up a little bit. Sub -Zero. <laughs> yeah, I think it has more to do... That particular issue had something to do with the controller. Like, one of the keys was... Uh, it wasn't receiving the controller properly. I don't know. Round one. Stuff. Fight! <laughs> A lot of the stuff that you would normally see on the background, the kind of watery pixelation from the compression and things like that, is still there. I mean, I can see it if you look at the, um, the lights around the a little bit. Um, you can see it. But it's not nearly as bad as when you're streaming. This is in 1080p, so. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is the end of oh. Round two, fight. Listen, streaming gaming is never going to be perfect. Sure. That's why I'm not always a huge fan. I'm very particular. But the input from the controller uh, works great. There's no lag. Not to see point. We see he just had some drop frames down. This is a direct feed to the Elgato, so you should be able to see all of that just right. Again, how do you Scorpion get back wins. without a keyboard or a mouse? How do you get that on-screen display to come up? So you will you'll probably have to have a mouse or something because it is assuming touch controls. Shall we do one more just so you can see that I'm not? Uh, it's not all fantasy here. Crackdown just takes way too long to load. Everything like this, there's all sorts of stuff in here, but it just all takes so long. So just do this Neon Abyss again. I did this in the other video, too. It's quick and easy, though. So let's see. So yeah, I mean... Um, I sort of talked more about cloud gaming and the cloud gaming service in the other video. I think if, um, yeah, see, this is crazy. This beta stuff is nasty. Let's go one more time. So anyway, uh, while we're loading, uh, essentially all I did was I exported the APK from my phone using Explore File Manager, dumped it straight to my Google Drive, and then I used Explore File Manager 
on the Shield TV to jump up to my Google Drive, pull the APK down, install it. I did have to use a keyboard and a mouse to um, navigate through the sign-in process for uh, Microsoft, my Microsoft account. And uh, I did have to end up pairing up this controller. I didn't use a Shield controller because I don't know where mine is. Just can't get through these screens fast enough, huh? But yeah, you'll notice that a lot of things aren't there. Your digital purchases aren't there. Only things that are provided by Game Pass are available to stream. So your own digital content purchases don't appear to be there. Not everything that appears in Game Pass is playable in the cloud either. So there's that as a uh, restriction as well. Some games will only play if you install them on a console or a PC. Blah, blah, blah. Yak, 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 while we wait for the thing to load. Get through the uh, intro chatter. Blah, blah, blah. Move along. stuff up with the grenades, nice. idea. I wish there was a couple of keyboard configurations you could set, or uh, controller configurations you could set to get that screen up, but unfortunately... Oh, wait a minute. What about the Xbox button? Oh, that just takes you home. <laughs> well, there you go. Well, that's a good enough segue anyway. Hope you enjoyed this look. Uh, cloud gaming for Xbox Game Pass Beta definitely works on Android TV with a little elbow grease and a little consideration. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, hit the little bell, and join us next time for another video right here on Monroe World. I'm Shane R. Monroe. Thanks for watching.